Hello there everybody, I'm Rick's here with some more news for the LEGO Hidden Side theme. So at the New York Toy Fair, the Brothers Brick um, went and they got so many awesome pictures of all the sets. Now um, I'm going to cover all the new sets and the other sets and um, I'm going to go in kind of in order and I'm going to do another news video when like we get the official images, but uh, like with um, the white background and everything. But anyway, we finally have box art images and you may think that this is the front, but there you would be wrong. Yeah, this is the back of the box, the surprisingly uh for the boat and we'll take a look at some of the front boxes later but this boat set is pretty solid for twenty dollars also the descriptions are from the brothers brick go check them out again but anyway yeah here's the front you can see how uh yeah i just like you wouldn't even be able to tell it's lego that much like i love it though the um, box art just pops and it's so fun you know you have the real stuff and then through the phone and anyway the boat is a little cute build for twenty dollars i could see that alone is a twenty dollar set but no they threw in a lot of terrain back there and a new tan crocodile with red eyes yeah minifigures and others are killer in these sets anyway here's the truck for $40 honestly um I feel like uh $40 is a bit pricey and again the I have to say the box art is so sleek but I don't know this seems uh, more like a $30 set I don't know once I get it in my hands I think I will like it a lot better but the truck isn't uh like haunted actually it's a little bike like ghost riders uh, it reminds me of but anyway uh, the truck uh, looks to have some sub suspension, so I think, uh, am I pronouncing that right? Anyway, I think that that looks really fun. And just the head of that minifigure shows you, like, it's kind of Mexican. It seems like it would be so detailed. And then uh, we have Jack in the back. Yeah, Jack and Parker are the two um, main characters. And then we are moving on to the diner, one that so many people, including me, have been wanting to see. So, um... Yeah, we're going to get into it, but uh, again, uh, the box art just pops on the front, and then we have this um, clean look at the back box art, and you can already see uh, kind of the interior on the back in that little uh, corner right there, and there's a little play feature with the sign, and yeah, this just looks amazing for a $40 set, you know, you got the stairs going to the roof with some place to sit, little to-go windows, and then a bunch of stickers, a 24-hour sticker, I don't know, those could be prints though, I doubt it, and um, this, um, I don't know why it's here, this is a picture from the train. I believe I didn't mess up. Okay, guys, can you please just forget that happened? But anyway, this is from the diner. And yeah, this is uh, the rooftop. Just look how crazy detailed these minifigures are. Like, that guy has a barf expression, which is old. But look at the kind of waitress. She's great. Anyway, here's the graveyard set, which um, it was I've already covered and so many people have already covered. But guys, we got so many new images of this and the other sets that we've already covered that it's really worth taking another look. Like, these new images, like, really get me hyped for them. Then I can't wait to see like the images with the white background that go on the website and everything because those would get me super hyped but anyway just look at that figure like these figures look to have so much glow so many glow in the dark uh, pieces and aspects anyway you th turn the statue which looks nice to me and then you scan the color in the kind of um these are augmented reality focused i don't think i mentioned that in this video actually but basically you scan it within the app and then, like, there's a bunch of mini games you can play, and that's why it's called Hidden Side. And weirdly, on the box, they only say hidden. Just notice that. They don't say hidden side. Hmm. Wonder. Anyway, uh, here is the lab. Now, uh, we had very few images of this. We only had one. So this gives us a better look. This is a $20 set, and honestly, it's pretty solid in my opinion. Like, look at those minifigures right there, and then the build looks pretty fun. Uh, really, this theme just reminds me of a mix between Scooby-Doo and Monster Fighters, and I just loved Scooby-Doo, and I thought Monsters, uh, Monster Fighters was also pretty good. So uh, just look at that choice of print and that crazy color for that hairpiece. And you don't know which one I'm talking about? I'm talking about both of them. They both look great. But anyway, let's move on to the bus, which a lot of people will say look like the Fortnite bus, except it's yellow. Then, yeah, you know, guys, you can get um parachutes from the Sky Police theme and then do some customization. But um, this should be a $60 set. And at first, uh, I didn't like the price, though. Actually, just look how big the thing is. I think that $60 could actually uh, be a fitting price, actually. So, yeah, it even has statues on the front. And then you can even see the construction workers. They have, like, scary faces or possessed faces and the regular ones and then uh yeah you can just see some of that awesome bus detailing and they did get some blue on that maybe you can switch out some more pieces if you are hooked on that fortnite bus idea and there you can see the kind of head pieces i think like they turn into monsters at night and then like you put those heads on and then you can turn them back into humans which would be cool and don't forget the possessed porta potty that is hilarious and this is included in that same bus uh, set so yeah this um 
that's just amazing. And now we will take a look at the train set for $90. Um, they should have around 600 pieces. And honestly, that seems a bit pricey. A lot of the pieces are big. I don't know. I'd like to see this at uh, $70, though. It does include some of those track pieces, which, like, if you buy eight of those, it costs, like, um, $20. So, yeah, and it does have a little... um station in the back so and there's a whole feature like you can close it up and then you push on a button on the roof and the wings pop up and then you get some scary teeth and this thing's giving us so many glow in the dark pieces so yeah and then you can get a clearer look at the figures so yeah i think this is good uh price maybe 80 dollars 70 i think would be a great deal 80 i think would be okay um 90 i think is a bit of a stretch maybe let's 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 wait for this um to go on sale um but uh, the last set we're going to cover is one we've already covered, but again, new uh, images. This is the high school. Yeah, so many people called it a school, but guys, these are high schoolers. Uh, by the way, I hope the minifigures Jack and Parker uh, use mid-legs because that's kind of the teenage um, set. But anyway, uh, weirdly on the back, they do show like the possessed one and not the non-possessed one. But uh, I think they just wanted a clear look without all the uh, special effects. But anyway, the high school just looked gorgeous as always and look at the bus stop it's possessed didn't notice that in the uh other pictures we've gone before and the interior as always as i've said before is gorgeous and look at those wings those wings are awesome they seem to be glow in the dark as well and look the bench flips up to get the teeth if you saw it in the corner and then you press a button and then it turns into this beast that looks like it is from monster house yeah if anyone watched that um but yeah that's it for this video i hope you liked it please subscribe to a comment down below and i'll talk to you again soon bye